What's going on guys and welcome to your fourth tutorial on JavaScript. In the last tutorial we learned about statements and comments so I'm just gonna delete this right now. I'm just gonna write over here as a comment. I'm gonna write what uh, what what tutorial we're on, what video we're on. So this is gonna be I believe JavaScript like I said fourth number four and I'm gonna make this a little bit less messy so I'm gonna get rid of this line and I'm gonna say hello Johnny world and in this today's video what we're gonna talk about is um, actually we're gonna talk about a uh, how to fix the problems in JavaScript because believe me if you're writing code like this yeah sure that you won't have any mistakes but once you start writing hundreds and hundreds and thousands of lines of code and if you have no uh, way how to check what's what's wrong and if you're trying to run your code and something's not happening believe me you're going to get frustrated very very fast so i wish i would have learned this right away as i'm learning the javascript but there is ways how you can right away check what's wrong with your code so you don't have to keep looking for mistakes over and over again and the reason for that is the JavaScript is case sensitive. There's a difference whether I write over here document write or document write. Those are not the same things in JavaScript. And whether it's this statement or later we're going to be covering the functions and variables and all that good stuff, there is a difference how you're writing the document or document with a the lower. There's a difference whether you write documents or actually you write document. And again, with three lines of code, yes, it's very easy to fix the to fix to fix your mistakes and actually notice the mistakes. But if you having bunch and bunch of code, it's actually very very it gets messy very very fast. So just let me show you how it works. So right now I have document write, and I'm gonna save this file. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to run the file, and you can see nothing is happening, and you can also we'll see in a minute why it's not happening and you're also going to see that how JavaScript is reading it top down. So I'm right here. This is a Chrome developer and I'm actually going to maximize this. Well, I'm going to make it more bigger. So you can see in, I'm right now in a Chrome, right? So you can go over here on top and just click it and you can you have the option of more tools and you go all the way down to developer tools. And you're opening the screen and right now we're in, sitting in a console and this is going to be your best friend you can actually write the code in console i always try to i mean depends on the situation but i'm going to be doing this tutorial as an actual javascript file but you can actually write it in the console but the point of the console is it right away you can see it right here on code type error document write is not function at javascript tutorial so first of all, it, right away, you, you can see that it gives you the line. You can see over here, it actually tells you where is your problem. It's actually on line two. You can see this little two, that actually tells you line two. What you can also always do is you can left click it and right away it tells you, okay, this is the problem, document right. Document right is gonna be the, the problem on, 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 the second, on the second line. So you go to console and you, if you want, if you want to check where exactly it is, you can just double click it and you'll see. So the reason why I'm saying that the JavaScript is reading top down. So let's have a look at what, why the whole page wasn't showing, right? So let's write document write properly over here. And like actually console over here. And instead of all the way on the top, but now I'm going to, change the fourth line and I'm going to write document right and I'm going to save it again and I'm refresh the page and now you can see that I have hello and Johnny but I don't have the world now this is what I'm talking about reading it top down that the first lines it was reading it was fine but then once it got to the fourth one and it was well there was some kind of there's some there's some problem to it and actually your console is telling you right now well it's actually the mistake is on line four and once you'll be working with many, many lines, this is going to become very, very handy and very, very fast. 
So it didn't read the, the fourth one because it was all the way in the bottom. However, it didn't read the whole document because if the mistake was all the way on the top. So again, we can double click it over here and you can see over here. Again, I'm going to make it bigger and you can see document right. This is your problem. You see this little X? It tells you, listen, you have a problem in the line four. Nice thing about console that you can actually write uh, your statements in the console and they will going to appear in your document. So you can write over here, document, and then you can write, and then again you can say, um, oh, let me fix this, you can say, hello, Johnny. And you can see over here, hello, Johnny. And because I wrote it in the console, it's spat on the page right away, right? And you can also do, when you, if you want to test your code, you can write console log, and then it's going to appear only in console. So let's say again, we're going to say hello. And we're going to statement. And you can see hello appears over here. Now, another thing what you can do is actually when you are testing something out, I could actually test out the world here, here over here, also in a console log. So you have basically two options. Let's refresh this and you can see hello Johnny, but the world is in actual brackets and you don't need to put the line break over here. So I'm going to delete that. But you can see that I can test my code in two places. I can test document write or I can write console log. And we'll be switching back and forth. I mean, some things we're going to test out in the console. Some things we're going to test out in document. It really depends. And also, remember that you can write your code over here in the console. And it's basically be uh, either you're going to be trying it out in, in the actual console or you'll be trying in your document. Now, this is going to be it for this video, guys.